Hello everyone, and we're back to Project Cars. Uh, we are just after Le Mans weekend, which was really amazing. Really enjoyed it, especially the MP2 category race. Uh, but I'm happy for a few drivers. Uh, Robert Kubica, second in LMP2 with Prema Racing. Makowiecki, or Makowiecki, as some say, uh, a French driver with Polish heritage uh, in P1, won the Le Mans in GT Pro in Porsche. Amazing, amazing weekend. And because of that, I want some sim racing. And I want something more serious. So uh, I'm ditching Gran Turismo 7 today for something more serious, which is Project Cars 2. Uh, Formula Renault, 3.5 cha Championship, um, Tier 4 of Open Wheel, uh, Round 5 of 7 at Monza. So let's do it. Uh, practice, one hour, qualifying 15 minutes and race 20 laps. Uh, let's check the difficulty settings. I checked earlier what I need to have to have some competitive racing and I don't know where I put that information. It's right here. So I should set them up to 117. So 17 above above the A's. Uh, let's see how it goes. 117, aggressiveness stay at 70. I said that many times, they become too aggressive and they crush a lot above that. 117 and 70 and let's start. We start with the practice. I need to remind myself a little bit about the track. Uh, it's quite dark here. I'm going to make some light. <clears throat> but I also want to check. If that 117 is correct, is that camera a bit late? Uh, have my dashboard this time. Didn't forget about it. I forgot about it last time. I'm gonna set the camera a bit differently. Here we go. And let's check my tuning setup. I think I have something prepared for race. Uh, softs. I have also qualification setup ready. Um, okay. Let's do some practice. Speed limiter, I don't want to receive any penalties. Cold tires, 30 degrees and less. And we are on the track, outlap. Cold tires, cold brakes, really easy to lock those wheels to start with. I have a wrong. So I had a wrong um, preset on my wheel. Still doesn't feel too good. Not sure if it's properly set up for uh, for project cars too. It should be. I think I need to get used to it after the change. A bit too light, braking is correct, my uh, load cell, but I think the force is a bit too low. Okay, increase it by 10. I like it a, li a little bit stronger, the force feedback. I prefer to fight the wheel a little bit. Starting the first, the first lap, the tires are still cold. I didn't warm them up enough on that uh, flying and flying lap. I mean, sorry, on that out lap. This is the flying lap. The slowest part on track, the chicane. Oh! It it is just enough to. to look at something for a second and, uh, and 
so easy to get that car off the truck. I need to get off to the speed because they... The guy behind is catching up easily with me. A bit white here. I let him go. Okay, the tires are warmed up. That last corner kills that left front tire. Already four person down. It was just the second lap. The car is heavy. I have a fuel for a race. I was three seconds out of the pace I should be in, so... Lap, my last lap time was 1.38 Should be around 1.35 I was 136.2 The guy in front of me is in P4 at the moment, I'm at P10 with my current time. I'll do a few more laps before I move to qualification. That's 135.9. That was really late braking, a bit too late. I moved to PA for that time. I know I can do better. The question is, the question uh, I'm asking myself is, are the AI drivers running with the race setup or quality setup? Like, how much fuel do they have at the moment?
he's going he's going to pee so they didn't I don't think they're running a lot of fuel I'm running a uh, racing ammo of fuel at the moment My monitor just went off and it came back. Okay, that was interesting. Not sure what happened there. Good, it's not an online race. I'm running quite low uh, aero setup. I think I have it at 4 at 6 or something like that. Something really bad is happening with my monitor. That's the second time. Just the connection. I don't know. Oh, that was power. It just come, it just came out. That's quite interesting. How loose it was that it came out by itself. That is very unexpected. Okay. I can assume. I can only assume it was because of. Uh, all the desk movement because of the wheel uh, through the months and months of driving. Um, that's the first time it happened, but at least I know what it was. I'll have, let's have a quick look at the times. 135.2. I don't think I can achieve that. Uh, maybe in quali. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm P9 at the moment. Uh, I know I can do 35.5 probably. I've done it before um, when I was testing the AI difficulty. Um, that messed up both my laps. Uh, water temperature looks really good. He went off-road there a little bit. A bit too deep into the apex. I should rather avoid that uh, right curve, it's too high. Yeah, I'll definitely should try to avoid it. That was a mistake. Whoa, what is, what is he doing? That guy was all over the truck. Or at least on the left hand side of it. <laughs> I have a, I have a aero damage 14% in front. Let's see if that's going to improve my times <laughs> or worsen them. Yeah, I didn't stop in time. And lock the wheels. Okay, um, seeing as they're driving with less fuel than me, I think I'm going to keep that difficulty for now and see how it looks in quality. So let's exit. Maybe I should uh, reduce it by one. 
Yeah, I think I've reduced it by one for quality. And then we'll... Oh, I clicked exit. Okay, let's do like that. Let's do... 16. 116. Let's start. I wish that game was optimized for PS5 and it didn't take so long to load, but it is what it is. Okay, and then we're going to do start, uh, return to pit box and do skip to end. We know what the times are. Simulating session. Okay. Don't look at the time. When it simulates, it puts completely rubbish times. Uh, continue to qualifying. Then, then we will be driving on the using the qualifying setup, which is pretty much just less fuel. I haven't changed anything else. I couldn't be bothered. Uh, okay, let's do some qualifying. Okay, pit limiter engaged. We don't want to have any penalties for speeding in pit lane. Let's not cross that white line as well, that's also a penalty. A bit of oversteer on those cold tires. They just stay below 40 degrees Celsius be above 80. Hit that sausage curb unnecessarily. I only put like 15 liters in the car, so I have, I think, two qualifying laps I can, I can do. Let's have a good exit out of the Parabolica. Sixth gear, 280 kilometers per hour, 290. And I messed up big time. I missed the breaking point. Well, I used that lap to put some heat on the tires, they're still cold. But that means I'll have one single lap. I've messed up this time.
not a good time. I'm too slow. I could use some tow. A good slipstream would be very helpful. 135.5, that puts me on P1. Okay, fair enough. I should have a good toe now to Ascari but then I probably will be slowed down by him at Ascari let's see if I can overtake he drove towards me there I have uh, aero damage and suspension damage and I ran out of fuel. <laughs> Completely forgot on a fearful two laps. I'm sorry. Okay, I ran out of fuel. So, return to pit box. Okay, that is that wasn't expected. They much much slower. I just put one I just put the difficulty one down from 117 to one that's not good they slow down by a whole second I'm not accepting that uh, let's bring that difficulty back to 117 uh, I have a too big of advantage that race would be pointless it wouldn't be fun at all so back to 117 where they were by uh, faster by around a second i don't know why just one point in difficulty difference means uh, such a huge difference in the lap times of that ai uh, they went from 135.2 i think in the practice session at 117 to 136.2 in quality just doesn't make sense uh, so now the difficulty was brought back to what it was for the practice session Okay, we have the qualification set up. Let's do some lap times. Speed limiter, I don't want any penalty for speeding up. That's usually grid penalty. So remember, take it easy on these fires and get the heat into them. Don't push too hard too early. <clears throat> Staying with the, within the lines, that's also penalty. Super cold tires. There are there are no uh, warming blankets for qualification. They're only for racing in that series for some reason. So let's use one or two laps to warm up the tires and then just try to run a fastest lap possible. Tires are still cold, one lap is not enough to warm them up.
I'm curious if I could go fast enough in Parabolica so I don't have to drop to the third gear and keep it at fourth. Three tires uh, are now warmed up, good temp, the right front is still below 70 degrees. That was fast enough to keep it on fourth. I didn't have to downshift to third. Exactly what I wanted to try and it worked. Let's see the lap time. One minute, 35.4, puts me on P1. One tenth of a second, almost. I'm curious if I'm close enough to get a toe from him. Marvin Thiel, he's at P11. That would be good time, but I went really, really wide there. Hit request confirmed. Hit any time. Okay, cool. We can return to the pit box and let's have a quick look. Okay, their times are better now. Um, I still expected them to be a bit quicker, but it's not bad. Um, I'll try to do one or two extra laps. I'll see how it goes. There's enough time, I think, for that. At least for one more. So there's good gap to the guy behind me, 30 seconds almost. If I can get up to the speed quickly, I won't be an obstacle to anyone behind me.
have to slow down. I want to avoid any penalties because at that stage a penalty could also be applied for the next lap. Uh, it's expected, unfortunately, the tires are not warm enough, even though the track temperature is quite high, 41 degrees, ambient 27, so it's a very warm May. Going faster, uh, quite a lot actually, almost 4 tenths of a second. If I can deliver the lap, that T1 is uh, assured. I think I will increase the difficulty for the race by another 1 point to 118. Only makes sense with those times uh, they're doing. And I also think that higher difficulty will make for a more interesting race. I don't have to win, I just want to race them. I found them to be slower than I expected here in that session. Ah, looks like I'm not I'm not the only one who's going to pit. Oh, so it's 34.9. Yeah, the difference is huge, but I won't be repeating that. Uh, they're not going to improve enough to, to do it. Especially that uh, the first four, that includes me, are in pits. So I'm not expecting the first three to try to improve their time. Actually, the second, the fourth one, Ari Antero tries. Um, 2 minutes and 50 seconds of the session. I'll give them the chance to do that. I have a drink in the meantime and then I'll try the race. Uh, 20 laps, 4 liters of fuel per lap. More than 8 liters of fuel, the car is going to be heavy.
Okay, less than two minutes to the end of the session. Oh, so the second one improved nicely. Much, much closer now. The same for the third one. 135.2, point well, almost three, that's the third one. Uh, so they can drive faster, that's good, that's good. Maybe I won't be in, uh, increasing difficulty then, because uh, they can be quite quick in the race. I think I'll try, 118. They pretty much have um, have enough time to finish one more lap. And I'll take a short break. So, qualification has concluded. And actually, I lost my pole position. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Marvin Thiel, uh, his uh, best lap was almost one tenth of a second better, 99 thousandths of a second. 
That was a good lap. Uh, good I waited till the end of that uh, qualification session because if I uh, moved to the end, that wouldn't happen and I would be in pole position and w that wouldn't be fair, would it? So, it's time to move to the race. Time to move to the race. Light cloud, that's the forecast, so we're not expecting any, any rain in Monza. Uh, super hot, 47 degrees Celsius, the truck temperature, 30 degrees ambient. Uh, setup is already loaded, but just to double check, I'm going to load that soft tire setup. Here we go. Uh, I don't think I need pit strategy, the only thing I may do is... I can do repairs just in case if I need it and let's try yeah let's start and try to uh, achieve the best result possible let's start oh that's nice man that's a good to be able to relax still on your left car left Too wide for those first corners, but it was a good start. Well, it was a rubbish start, but good first corner or chicane. We're going too wide to the next chicane. Car on your left. One on the left. I still have the inside of the next two corners, and it worked. That was an epic first few corners. But they were epic. I have a good straight line setup, quite fast, low arrow. But I'm a bit rubbish in corners because of that. But as long as I can keep them away from my slipstream, I should be able to stay in front now after I move to P1. 1.3 seconds advantage. lost everything from 1.3 to 0 0.5 Okay, we've got some pressure from behind Start thinking about your defense They are really fast Two legs back When a bit white at the exit. Variante Ascari. And towards the Parabolica. Sure, man, sure. He's right behind me. Is he going to attack? He is attacking. Good, I was checking my mirrors because he attacked in the last possible moment, but I have that speed on the straight he's lacking. I also had wider exit, so I gained the momentum. Position swap. I am watching, he's behind me though. Checking those mirrors like crazy.
He hit me! He didn't have a position and he hit me! What was he trying to do there? He wasn't on the inside to attack. Yeah, the water, water is important, man. I sometimes forget to drink it. Uh, and I always try to remember. Hydration is super important. So whoever is going to watch it on YouTube, remember, hydration is important, drink the water, a lot of it. The front left tire is going like crazy. It's lap 4 of 20 and the tire is 7 percent down. The parabolica is killing it. Do any faster than that, man? What is he talking about? How how can I drive faster? I'm as fast as I can.
Did you watch uh, Le Mans this weekend? It was amazing 24 hours of Le Mans. Really good race. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I really enjoy it. Unfortunately, I'm too old to last all 24 hours. Someone went to pit. The guy on P2 went to pit. I just saw it in the mirror. I don't know what happened. I have to remember to record the replay just to check what happened. I'm really curious. Yeah, I had to go to bed. I'm f I, could, I couldn't. I couldn't watch all of the race. When I was 20 years old, I could easily sit for 48 hours. But at the age of 41, I cannot anymore. So I had a four hours uh, sleep just to recover. I like got a longer power nap. But the race will be available on YouTube, on the official World Endurance Championship channel. So I will watch the four hours I missed uh, on YouTube, once they put it on. One point seven, one point nine seconds advantage over a second, but the guy who was on the second went to pit. I don't know why. There was a change on the P2. FIFA. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, football or soccer or whatever they call it in different parts of the world. But I'm also really, really bad at FIFA. I tried to play it with, uh, with some friends a long time ago. I'm rubbish. I cannot even score a goal. <laughs> That's how bad I am. I'm messing up, I need to concentrate. Better.
I need to reduce the force feedback a little bit. It's a bit too strong. There we go. Let's see now. It should be better. Slowly building the advantage per second. Nothing big, but it's growing steadily. That's halfway through, 10 laps to go. I don't have to worry about the fuel, we have 42 liters after out of 82. The car is uh, half empty now when it comes to fuel and I think I can start braking significantly later. That was two times now when I brake to too early to the first chicane. Wow, I thought it would never disappear, that penalty. That was a huge waste of time, unfortunately. I lost a second on that. Oh, maybe more.
The left front tire is almost 20% gone. It's going fast. Still have seven laps to go. The other tires are still good. Quite a lot of oversteer there in that chicane. A bit aggressive. The last right hander. Five laps to go. Brake stamp looking good, tire temperature is looking good. The only thing which worries me is the wear on the left front. It's now 
I should be good as well. My arrow is good. Water temperature and oil temperature are looking good. The engine is 9 percent down just by driving that car around that racetrack. The wear on the engine is quite high. Point seven seconds up them touch, that's quite a big one now at that stage. The lap times are more or less consistent around one thirty five seven, one thirty six. Three laps to go. That's like a quick quick sprint. There's quite a lot of oscillation. I have to keep that wheel in my hands quite firmly. If I let it go, it will start turning left, right, left, right. I'll do that now. Here we go, straight away. Very bumpy truck or something, I don't know. Oh, that's a surprise. The car is light, that's probably the reason. But the tires are not fresh anymore. Two laps to go. The truck temperature uh, increased from 47 to 49, it's almost 50 degrees, that's super hot.
one second. First warning, two second penalty. I take it. I've got 3.4, so I should be good. Final lap. The final lap. We're looking good. No mistakes. Just take the win. If anyone can do this, it's you. Come on, keep pushing. And the final corner of Parabolica, famous Parabolica. And the finish line it is. Just need to deliver the car to the pit lane and the round 5 of the Formula Renault tier 5 of open wheel will be completed. Fantastic, great win. You there we go. Today. Brilliant driving. Done. Two seconds penalty still kept me in the first place. The guy who came on fourth, Maximilian Werlein, and I think he was on uh, P2. Uh, he was, I mean, he was starting from P1, I guess. He had an amazing best lap. One minute, 34.4. No one even went down to one minute... 1 minute 34 and he had 34.4, very low 34, amazing. Uh, my lap time wasn't too bad. Uh, somewhere in the top 5. I cannot see the last guys, unfortunately, I'm not on the wheel. Uh, let's have a look at here, okay. Yeah, he was, his, his lap time was the fastest, the best. Uh, good points, 
Uh, not a bad points as a team. Where was my teammate? Team D box seventh. So that's six points. That's good. Uh, driver roster. I'm uh, pretty much at that stage. I am the champion of that series with two races left. And I think as a team we are pretty safe as well. Great. What is the next uh, the next round? I'm really curious. Before I switch this game off, I will check that. Uh, it is Hockenheim National, so the short version, and the last one will be the Barcelona Catalonia, also national, so also the shorter version. That's pretty cool. Uh, Majestic Jay Z Panda, if you're still watching, uh, have a great time at FIFA 22. Enjoy it. Score some goals, win some games. Uh, thanks for being here and thanks for watching. And for those of you who are who will be watching that on YouTube. Uh, yeah, thank you very much also for watching and, and have a great day, evening, wherever you are. Uh, it's really, really late here, almost 11 in UK. So uh, have a good one. Enjoy. Thank you again for, for being here. I see you next time.